Hey everyone, this video I'm going to show how to take an Xbox apart. I like to do this for using the bits in my arcade cabinets. Uh, you need a Torx screwdrivers, Torx 10, Torx 20, a uh, flathead screwdriver comes in handy. Flip it over. You'll see on the Xbox in the back there's some stickers, there's screws underneath a couple of those hidden. So if you just peel those back to expose the screws. Also, there's four screws underneath the rubber feet. Peel those off. So you've exposed four screws. Just undo them with your tops 20 and then they come out. Right, screw uh, screws out, flip your Xbox back over and then the top just lifts off nice and easy, do what you want with that. Now onto the hard drive, just pull out the ID cable and it helps to get the power lead out if you go out a screwdriver and just loosen it up a little bit and then you can get in there with your hand and pull the, the cable out the back of the drive. cable out. Now there's some clips on the left there, if you just feed the wire through them, it, the wire comes away there, so it's nice and easy to pull out that hard drive and the plastic chassis thing. That has some screws there which I've already taken out, which you can then freeze up the drive. Onto the CD drive, um, there's a couple of screws in there securing that in. You get your Torx 10 at the top there, screw there, screw there take them out only little screws this time that pulls out still fastened to the motherboard with the cables so just pull out the IDE cable from the motherboard and also that yellow power cable thing pull that out and there's your CD drive freed up onto the fan, get like a small flathead screwdriver the fan is just, there's a couple of clips at the bottom there that keep it in place Don't push your screwdriver in to free that up free the clips and then you can just lift and gently pull away the fan it comes out <laughs> onto the PSU that's secured with a couple of screws, get your Torx 10 undo those um, then it's also um, the, the cables going into the motherboard from the PSU. Just pull those, up, pull that out. It takes a little bit of persuasion. Comes out, and then pull it forward, lift it up, and it frees up the PSU. Okay, control the ports. There's uh, four screws securing them down. Undo them. And they pull out, if you pull out and lift up, they come out nice and easy. There's also a yellow cable going through to the front panel. If you unclip that from the motherboard, here. Yeah. There you go, that frees up the motherboard now. We can unscrew that. There's about more than nine screws in there in total. Lots of them just here, 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 everywhere. Find the screws, take them out. Okay, so you can now lift up the motherboard, make sure there's no spare screws in there that you've not taken out, pull it out, lift it, pull it forward, lift it up, it comes out nice and easy. Yeah, just make sure there's no screws left on there on that motherboard, you don't want to short circuit it or anything. There's a nice uh, 
um, front panel there on the front to take off so get your flat screwdriver and just slide it in and prise the, away from the clips on the side see how many the side insert screwdriver just to free it from the clips on the side um, pull it forward slightly there's a little clip on the inside of the Xbox here just push that up and then the front panel comes off and um, you can feed the uh, little yellow cable through the gap there's your fruit bowl so this little board here um, we just need to unclip this from the, the, that plastic um, you can do that take a flathead screwdriver and just prise it away there's a little clip keeping that in so there we go that's quite useful it's got an on off switch and an eject switch useful for your cab So there's the motherboard, power supply, that's the board with the on off switch which you can solder to your cab, fan, CD drive, hard drive, it's a standard 8GB hard drive. Thanks for watching guys.